First and 11 tonight, we are hearing from the young man at the center of that controversial confrontation. Video of the 20 year old African American stopped by police after a white woman accused him of being suspicious has now gone viral. It all played out on East 4th Street in downtown Royal Oak. 7 Action News reporter Rudy Harper talked to him tonight, joins us live. What's he saying, Rudy? Well, David Carolyn, he has now hired an attorney and plans to go to the police department for answers tomorrow. Devin Myers is his name. He told me he was parked on this street right here and waited for a friend to arrive. They were going to this cafe across the street, but, but before he made it inside, he was stopped by an officer, he says, because of the color of his skin. It's like Emmett Till. It's like a, a, two, a 2019 Emmett Till. That's all it is, but I just got lucky. Devin Myers was on his way to this cafe in Royal Oak when he says he was accused of a crime for looking suspiciously at a white woman. He said I was a suspect of a crime and the lady said that I was looking at her and she didn't know she was here. Myers says his car was parked near the woman who called 911. He says he believes she called because police spoke with her before stopping him on the sidewalk and then demanding his ID. Four officers responded. Part of the interaction with the officers was caught on Facebook Live by a bystander. The video has now gone viral. I am in Royal Oak, Michigan. I was um, going to the CBS over here when this young man is stopped because a Caucasian lady said that he looked at her suspiciously and he has been pulled over walking to go to eat by two police officers for suspicion of being black. I need to make that like a part of the for you, but don't stare too long. No, don't be black and stare. Meyer says it's not his first run-in with one of the responding officers at the scene. He says one of the officers took him into custody in May. There was a, a, a mistake in their system and it said that I had a warrant. He says he was in custody for more than seven hours, then released. We have not confirmed that with Royal Oak Police. Meyer says the owner of the in-season cafe also advocated for him and paid for his meal. I never would have thought racism was amongst the urban cities because I have tons of white neighbors and they all like me. So that's, I've never really paid racism that much attention. Now, Meyer says the owner of the cafe paid for his meal because she felt bad about the situation. The mayor of Royal Oak also weighed in tonight saying that he knows racial bias exists in this community and they're working to combat it. As far as Royal Oak police, they are declined an interview today, but they did confirm that an internal investigation is underway. Live in Royal Oak, I'm Rudy Harper, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Rudy.